creative people welcome back to book in a day this is the second week um, it feels like more than a week has gone by but I guess it's only been a week so uh, my name is Kyla Giphand I'm not on camera today because I have so many things to show you here on my table uh, I felt like that was more important so I want to start by just showing you some of the things that I will be using today for this book project I don't know if you read the blog from the first week, but one of the things that I mentioned learning from the process for week one was that I needed to at least think about what I wanted to do ahead of time um, and then, but not, not get anything together, not like get the materials or anything ready until the day of, but to just think about it throughout the week um, and give myself some time to develop a concept that I could work with where I didn't feel so rushed to pick items that I was going to use so I did spend some time this week throughout the week just you know no pressure just thinking about whatever came to mind in terms of the book um, I am calling it the square book even though I don't really and I'm sure it has an official name so don't you probably don't want to google square book <laughs> you might not find this I don't know. I spent the morning gathering all of my materials so I woke up and the first thing I did was start gathering the materials because I had been thinking about them all week so I kind of knew what I wanted to work with so I've been gathering them and I have everything spread out here I'm just gonna walk through the pieces
is coming along. I've, I'm actually almost done with it. I only have two more things left to do. Maybe three. Um, in working on it, I actually came up with a title. Um, so I'll talk about that towards the end of, or maybe even in the blog. This I'm very happy actually with how it turned out. I was concerned as I was going through it just because this is my first time uh, working with this structure in a formal way. So I'm happy with how it came out um, for it being a one day book. So again, the book falls in this manner. And I did decide um, to go with no text and I'm happy that I did. I actually really like this sort of cosmic, it has a very cosmic um, celestial feeling to me which um, I don't know this feels it feels like the, the right way to, in, to leave it um, and to not add text. I feel like text would take away from the experience of just the images and looking at I spend a lot of time thinking about how they fit together on the page and which ones should be next to each other and so I'm hoping that when people experience the book if they were to read it they would also um, look for meaning in that I also like the multiple ways this book can be displayed I think it's a, a has infinite possibilities for that um, depending on how you want to work with it you know you could have a this sort of box boxy structure um, or you can I mean there's just a number of things you can play around with how how this piece functions so I am not done because I also finished um, put that to the side I've also finished let's see if I can go out a little bit I've also completed the cover and the back of the book, which I realized <clears throat> I didn't need a paste down here because the book is actually going to sit in this space. Oh, actually I do need a paste down just to make sure it covers. So the book is going to sit in that space and it will have this as its cover. Uh, and then I will have a band across, um, is what I'm thinking. I may not do a band. I've got, I got to think a little more about that. Um, but for now, I'm, I'm very happy I did. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I did what's called insets on the cover. So I just made circles on the actual board before covering it. Um, and then bone them down with the bone folder, cut out these circles to match the same size using, remember that extra sheet I said I was going to use for uh, the cover, to put some pieces on the cover, so that's what that was. Um, and I just used a circle cutter, remember I mentioned having the circle cutter. And these pieces came from that, and so they mimic the colors and um, paper used inside the book. Which, you know, doesn't have to happen, but I like to try to carry the theme all the way through. So, I really wish that you could uh, see these colors. The pearlescent white acrylic is just so beautiful. It looks like stars dusting the sky on this blue. It's just a beautiful, it turned out really, uh, like, a hundred times better than I ever imagined it would so I'm happy with it um, so I am going to finish up of course I have to put uh, a title and do a call -a -thon. I don't have to but that feels right for me so I am going to do those two things and um, I will be back to say a few final words once that's done Um, I added the band so it can be slipped over the covers and taken off. 
Okay, so the book, um, the cover lifts, and the book actually lifts out of, off from the top of that, and on the bottom we have the colophon. And then the book is a folded structure that simply unfolds. I love the way that it could be displayed um, in multiple ways, but it's also able to be viewed um, in a flat way. And the each of the triangles has been placed where it's placed. Uh, there is a narrative here, so the reader can experience it without text um, but with a narrative so while there is no text to direct the reader to what that narrative is I appreciate the fact that one of the things I love about artist books is that the narrative comes with the reader and so the reader gets to interact with the book in a way that's different from a book that has text in it very excited about this book. I will have the pictures up on the blog and on the Ning site. Please join me in both. Um, the blog gives a lot more information about my process and about the book in general. Um, and then on the Ning site you can find additional photos from the blog including materials that I've used in this uh, in the making of this book. So I hope you'll join me, if not uh, in making this book, maybe you'll join me next week for week three. I have no idea uh, about the structure or content for week three, but lately I've been doing um, a lot of thinking about numbers and how they factor into books, usually books with a lot of text. The only way we experience numbers is through page numbers. Um, so I'm interested in where that's going to lead me for next week. but. Again, I'm just going to allow it to marinate over the week and see what happens next Thursday when I sit down or when I wake up and sit down to make a book in a day. I hope you'll join me. Thanks so much for watching.